Hello and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco 2. Today we have got Arsenal and Southampton coming up and it's going to be quite a good episode because in between those two games we of course have got the Champions League knockout stage draw coming up and we're going to find out who we're playing in the first knockout round. So I'm really excited for that one and I hope you are too. Anyway, as per usual, before we get into today's fixtures, we need to go through what's happened since you were last here. Uh, we've played three games and actually... It's the worst bit of form we've been in in this entire season so far. You were last here for the 2-1 win over Slavia Prague. And actually, I'm a nil-nil draw with Tottenham as well. Since then, played four games, not three games, sorry. I sort of forgot the West Brom game that we played. I was focusing on these three games. But we started things off with a 4-2 win over West Bromwich Albion with Andreas with one, Pelican with one, and Bizu with a brace in that game, which was really nice to see. Off the wing, of course, because he's playing on the wing at the moment. Or this game, at least, he was playing on the wing because, of course, uh, Luis Gustavo out with his red card and things like that. So that was a good win for us. I was very pleased with that result. Took us a bit further up the league as well, which is nice to see. We then lost 2-0 to Man City, though, unfortunately. A first half showing from them made sure they got the 2-0 win there and only our second loss of the season. We got some redemption, though, by beating Cardiff at home with Pelican getting one goal and Agni getting the other two in the second half of the game. So a good 3-0 win there as well. But we did succumb to Real Madrid. After we beat them 3-0 at their place, they came to our place and beat us 3-1. I was very confident, actually, when Peter Pelican scored in the second minute. They replied pretty quickly in the fourth minute. And then it was like another one. Of the, it was like a Tottenham game from last episode, if you remember, where there were literally no highlights. The only highlights in this game were the goals. And unfortunately, two of them came within the 80th and 87th minutes for them, right in the game, which was really frustrating. But I suppose we can't win them all. And we got very lucky to beat Real Madrid 3 0 earlier on in the season. So we'll take those results. It meant we finished second in our group in the end in the Champions League uh, because of that. But we're still into the knockout stages, which is good. It means we might get a slightly more difficult draw into the knockout stages, but I, we, we'll take anyone. We'll take anyone on, and it'll be absolutely fine. In terms of the Premier League, though, we do move ourselves into top of the table. We may have lost the game, but so did Tottenham, and Tottenham also picked up some draws, which means we are now level on points, but we are ahead of them on goal difference. So we do move up into first position in the table. West Ham only three points behind us as well. Liverpool are six points behind us, as are Manchester United. So it's all looking pretty tight still. As we head into today's game, there are a few changes for rotation issues and just trying to keep a few players fit. So Salinkia stays in goal, but Jimenez comes in at left back alongside Payne, Smith and Klaassen. Andreas and Luizu start in the middle of the pitch with Gustavo on the left after he's back from his ban. Pomeroy in the middle today because Chris Hart is in desperate need of a rest. Uh, Chiesa on the right, of course. And Pelican leads the line for us today because recently Bizu's played a few games and he's looking like he needs a bit of a rest so he's going to miss today's game Pelican uh, staying in the side actually but uh, Bizu's been playing sort of on the wing or in the attacking field as well so Bizu's been sort of been playing all over the place but will probably come in for the next game in the cup against Southampton so as per usual kickoff is upon us today Arsenal are doing well they're sitting in sixth position uh, and as things stand right now they go on to 31 points so it's all really tight in the top six to be fair no one's really running away with anything much yet 18 games, well, 18 games after we've played, of course. 18 games into the season, uh, getting well towards that halfway mark, of course. So it's good to see that it's all pretty tight. Hopefully we'll have a nice tight battle at the end of the season for a title and things like that. As we're trying to get the ball in the back of the net, the first few opportunities aren't really going anywhere near, unfortunately. But a great start to the game for us and potentially a chance for us to get forward once again now as Arsenal collect the ball at the back after it's been cleared from their corner or something, maybe. And it's gone all the way back to their goalkeeper now, who's coming out quite deep. Luckily for uh, luckily for Arsenal, that is, he gets the ball away before Pelé can get can get on the end of it. But I'm liking this pressing play from us. I'm liking that we're keeping the the pressure on them, which is quite nice. They can't really seem to get out of their own half at the moment, which is pretty good to see. Although they are passing it around quite nicely, and I think they probably will get a ball forward very quickly. As Hancock now gets on the ball, surely he puts it forward. He does put it forward, and Salinkia is forced to make a really good save. A chance for us to come forward though within the 15 minutes though, which is quite good as Klaassen can put the ball in and Gustavo is there at the far post to make it 1-0 and open the scoring for us right now, which is fantastic because it will open a three-point gap to Tottenham as it stands right now. And if we can maintain this victory, we'll be three points ahead of Tottenham and they've got all the work to do then to catch us up. Obviously, they've got the game in hand, but they'll have the pressure then of knowing that they've got to win I don't know what happened with the net there. I don't know if you saw the net then, but the net went a bit mental. But um, obviously, lots of power behind Gustavo's header there. Ah, for those of you asking as well, by the way, uh, thank you to everyone who said to me, like, I hope you're getting better and things like that. Because uh, I have sort of, I've made it known in the past few weeks as, ah, oh, it's an offside goal for Arsenal, it's okay. Uh, the past week or so, uh, I had a sore throat and I kept complaining about it, even though you couldn't really hear it, I don't think. 
I could feel it myself in my throat. It's kind of been replaced. The sore throat's not there so much, but it's kind of been replaced with a bit of a cold, which makes me sound even more weird, I think, and a bit of a cough as well. I keep coughing a bit, so I don't know. Maybe I should stop talking, really. That's probably the best way to get better, but I can't. I just enjoy making videos too much. Also, I should say, thank you ever so much as well to everyone who's left a nice comment on the FIFA video. Uh, obviously, that's a bit of a different series out there, and I just thought I'd try it. You know, I'm all about trying new things, and it's still football to an extent, so I thought you guys would quite like it as well. But it's also slightly different because, obviously, it's a, it's a career mode, but it's a player career mode as opposed to a manager mode. Because if you play manager mode on FIFA, like, what's the point? You may as well just play football manager. But I do like the, the, the player aspect of career mode in FIFA and I like playing it as just one player, just me. It feels like I actually am a player sort of thing. I've tried to intertwine quite a few storylines into it because obviously there's no actual built-in storylines in FIFA, which is like ridiculous considering that every other sports game, like NBA, 2K, things like that, they, they all do it. It's not in FIFA, and I think that's really letting them down. I think it's really annoying a lot of people. So hopefully it sort of quenches people's thirst for a bit of storyline in FIFA. Uh, that's kind of my goal with it, at least. But to those of you who have watched it and left some nice comments, thank you very much. If you've not seen it yet, I'll put a little link on the top of the screen right now so you can go and check it out if you want to, after this video, of course, because you don't want to miss this one. We're looking pretty solid, though, but Arsenal are coming forward now from this free kick, and actually, we've won the ball back because they handballed it, apparently, so that wasn't too much of a worry, but... Arsenal are coming back into this game a little bit into the second half and we're doing well to hold on as it stands right now as Pelican has been put forward. Pelican saved by the goalkeeper Benitez there. That could have been a great opportunity to double our lead. Now, do I want to take someone off the pitch? I kind of do and I think we're going to bring Kooks on for Klaassen who's looking a little bit tired. We want to save Klaassen obviously for the next game as well. So Kooks going to come on for Klaassen. Do we want to bring on one of the youngsters? We've only got Barnett on the bench today, actually. So we might bring him on for someone in the midfield. Andreas, let's give... An well, he's not a midfielder. I thought he was a central midfielder, Barnett. I oh, know he's the winger, of course. He's the winger. Uh, in that case, yes. Let's swap Gustavo over with Barnett. Let's give Barnett a little run out there. It's a bit risky to, to do it, perhaps, because he's so young and we've got 25 minutes left of today's game and we're only winning 1-0. But... I want to give him a bit of playtime. Also, some big match experience is going to help his development. I'm doing all this like we're going to play more seasons. Obviously, FM20 is right around the corner. So we're not doing any more seasons, obviously. But I'm sort of getting myself into the mindset of youth development because we're going to do a lot of that in FM20. So uh, also, if you've not got a copy of FM20 yet, link in the description. Take you to my affiliate link. Get FM20 for less than £30, which is really good if you use the promo code TOMFM at the checkout. A lot of you have used it already, so thank you very much. And a lot of you have had some good feedback from it. So good to see us. Again, Arsenal coming very close in the final 10 minutes. Let's take this down to cautious. Oh, for goodness sake. I just like, I was playing with like a, I don't even know, it's like a screw. And I just put it down, looked away from the screen. And uh, well, there we go. It's 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 a good header, to be fair. That's really frustrating we need to go attacking then. We want to grab a goal at the end of this game. Demand more out there. They're all focused. If we can just get something. Another goal. I mean, I'll, I'll take a draw considering that Arsenal have been the better side in today's game. But it could have taken us three points clear of Tottenham Hotspur. Who are they playing right now? Or, or have they already played? I swear they were on 17 games earlier on. But now, now they're on 18. Which is fine by me. Because... That means that we're ahead of them by a point. Unless we've kicked off earlier and they kicked off whilst we've been playing. I didn't realise that was a feature in Football Manager though. Because I swear it all said 17 earlier on. Oh, they did play. I'm very confused then. I just clearly wasn't looking at things properly. But Tottenham drew earlier on in the day. Which means we do go top of the table on merit by a single point. Which I'm pleased about. I keep missing things in videos. I really keep missing things in videos. Like last episode, I, mean, I missed that we were in the, the knockout stage of the Champions League. I didn't even realise that. And today I've not realised that Tottenham have already played. And I'm just... What is wrong with me? I won't lie to you. I'm a little bit concerned about how I'm getting all these kind of things wrong. It's a bit weird. I suppose a draw isn't too bad. A draw isn't the worst result with Arsenal. They're a top six side. They're looking for a title. They've won a few titles in this save as well. So they are a decent side still. We'll take that draw against them to be fair. Anyway, at some point in these next few days, we should have the Champions League knockout stage draw, if I'm correct, if I remember rightly. Now, we made sure, didn't we, that it, we were coming back. Last episode, we made sure we came back, but it's it's disappeared off here, which is slightly worrying. 
but I can't see it anywhere else. So it has to be it has to be where it said it was. It just vanished for some reason. It must come up in the next few days, surely. Imagine also messing this one up and not realising I'd like already done it or something like that. I hope I haven't already done it. No, I'm not going that crazy. It's not been done yet. Like, I did panic then. I just accidentally skipped it or something like that, just because I'm pressing through, trying to get to the next episode excitedly and things like that. But, but uh, in Aston Villa want me for the job. No, we're not going to Aston Villa. I'm afraid not, lads. This is the Lincoln loco, not the Aston Villa tram to nowhere. It's it's different. So we can't do that. Champions League first knockout draw is here. We've not been seeded because we didn't win our group, obviously. So... Uh, obviously we can't face any of these sides here, but we could come up against any of these teams. And they all look quite good. I mean, City, Tottenham, Arsenal, they could all beat us, to be fair. Uh, let's just draw through this then. So obviously it's the, the, the non city teams come up first. So we'll be, here we are, right. So we can't have City or Arsenal. Perhaps that's good, I don't know. We've got Barcelona into... I don't know if we can have Real Madrid or not because they're in our group. We might be able to have Real Madrid. I don't know. Uh, but then Bayern Munich and Juventus and Tottenham. Who? To be fair, who do I want? Inter Milan. I'll take Inter Milan out of all those teams because I feel like they'd be the easiest to beat. And we've got Inter Milan, which I'll take. You know what? I'm happy with that draw. Um, obviously, none of these draws are ever going to be easy. But I think Inter is possibly the kindest one because if I remember rightly, they have the lowest European coefficient, I think out of like the top seeds in the group stages, if you know what I'm trying to say. So I think we should have a good chance of beating Inter Milan. Uh, they do have some good players, and I feel like we sold them a player at some point. I'm looking through the past few years. Ah, Salinkia, Salinkia, we got him from Inter Milan. That's who I was thinking of. Sebastian Salinkia, we got him from Inter Milan. So he's going to go back to Milan and uh, hopefully keep some clean sheets for us. And that would be really nice. In the meantime, though, we have got the small matter of Southampton in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Obviously, we want to try and win a cup competition, a domestic one this season as well, because we've not done that since we won the Checker Trade Trophy like a long time ago. So... We want to try and win this, and we want to try and beat Southampton today. Now, Pelican, we're going to rest him today because he is very tired. Uh, Hart's going to come back on for Pomeroy as well. Andreas. Let's swap him around with Agni, give Andreas the rest today, and leave Luizu on the pitch for now. Uh, I'm tempted to take Clarsen off for Kooks. And then, how is... Where is he? He's along here somewhere. Uh, Doherty. Let's, no, let's leave him and us on the pitch for now. Leave him and us on the pitch for now. We'll bring Doherty back on for the next league game. Uh, but other than that, I think that is a good, solid lineup, which we can stick with and get a good result with today. So we're going to go with that. I think we can get a good result against Southampton. You think we can get a good result against Southampton. Now we can always guarantee that they're going to batter us 2-0. Kickoff though is upon us. We're at the Mark Mason Memorial Metro Dome, which is still the most fantastic stadium name that ever has been and ever will be. I don't think any stadium name is going to get better than that as Chisa puts a corner in towards Bizu, heads it over the bar. Chance for us to move forward with the ball as Kooks is somehow becoming our main striker as he moves forward with the ball, puts it out towards Luis Gustavo. Chisa looking to get it there at the back post, doesn't quite get it, but Kooks regains him. What am I trying to say? I, I just sort of tried to say like three things at once then. Like my mouth was saying one thing and then my head was trying to say another thing. I sort of just came out as a bit of a blur. I was trying to say that Kooks is now like not us. Oh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. I'm just going to stop talking. I just... I'm not, I've not been the best in the past few episodes. I'll hold my hands up with that. I keep sort of missing things. My voice isn't brilliant. I'm messing things up. I can't talk properly. Bizu has won as a penalty and is going to take it himself, which is quite good to see. Hopefully he scores this. I, I mean, I, I, what am I trying to do now? Like, it's just ridiculous. Maybe I just have... Maybe I'm poorly. I'm ill. That's what it is. I'm just, that's what I'm going to blame it on. I don't know if that is something to blame it on. Maybe I'm just being a bit mental. I don't know. But I can't... I didn't get much sleep last night, now I think about it. And now this is the thing, right? This, this makes me sound even more crazy as well, I think. Uh, last night, I didn't get much sleep last night. And then I wasn't sure if I actually got much sleep at all. But I couldn't remember if I just couldn't sleep. Or I was dreaming that I couldn't sleep. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't... I just woke up and was like, did I sleep last night or did I sleep and dreamt that I couldn't sleep. That's what I was kind of thinking about. Like, so really, I didn't get much good sleep last night. That's probably part of it as well. I'm just, I'm, I feel like you're my, my my therapist now that I'm saying all this. It's all coming out now, isn't it? Like, what is going on right now is, 
I'm just going to shut up because this is not this is not right. This is, what am I talking about? This is ridiculous. Cheese goal. Right, that's it. Stop talking. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Let's start again. Football. Football manager. Salinkia. Smith. Right then. Smith on the ball. Get this pumped up for. Let's get a third goal before half time. And then we're going to be pretty much guaranteed for the semi finals of the Carabao Cup at that stage, aren't we? Because we're, we are dominating Southampton today. 19 shots to two shots. It's a whitewash as Southampton score a goal. First shot on target as well. You love to see that. Corner then for Southampton is the first highlight of the second half and they've hit the crossbar from it. And all of a sudden, we were looking in a very, very comfortable position and now suddenly Southampton have come out of the blocks and decided that, no, at the end of the first half, they won't go down 2-0. At the second half, they want to score some more goals, which we're not, that's not on, lads. That's not part of the script. So they're coming forward again. Southampton, lads, sort it out. Do not score. Kooks, good clearance. It was a poor clearance, awful clearance. And I mean, how is this possible? 25 shots we've had. That's all I'm saying. We've had 25 shots and this has happened. You hate to see it. Bizzo's picked up a knock as well. I hadn't noticed that myself. So we'll take him off, bring Pelican on. And we'll also bring on Michael Pomeroy for Chris Hart, who's also looking tired in that attacking midfield. But we're going to bring Pomeroy on as a striker. Get him up there. See what he can do. Advance forward on attack. Pelican complete forward on support. Do your stuff, lads. And now with only 20 minutes left on the clock, we are getting a little bit desperate for a goal. As the ball forward to Kooks is good, but his cross isn't brilliant. Although Pomeroy does get on the end of it. It is saved by the Southampton goalkeeper though. And I think they're going to have a move now. Payne doesn't head it straight to their striker, which is good. I thought that was exactly what he was going to do. As Chisa now collects the ball in their half, puts it forward towards Pelican. In no doubt, gets his 21st goal of the season, which is crazy. Makes it 3-2 to us. And hopefully now, this is going to be the way it stays for the rest of the game. And hopefully we're going to come away with the win in the semi-finals. Fingers crossed it's all going to work out. Great finish as well by Pelican. That was superb. We're going to make one more change because we've got three defenders on a yellow card. So Nesvic, who's not played too much recently, is going to come on for David Smith. Give it a go out there, lad. Play 15 minutes, show me what you can do. Make sure you keep it make sure you personally keep a clean sheet. Obviously, we can't do that now, but if he can keep a clean sheet, that means that we don't lose today's game. That's good for me. I'm happy with that. As Southampton are coming forward. The ball forward to Gouda is a Gouda ball. That's really bad, Tom. And again, it's it's bad clearances. It's really poor clearances from our defenders that are causing us all our issues. Two goals we've conceded because we've had a clearance that just goes straight to their striker like that and they can score from it. It's ridiculous. On to very attacking then for the final 10 minutes or so. Uh, show some passion. We better win. We uh, does, this, oh, does this go to extra time or straight to penalties? I'd rather just go straight to penalties really because I can't be asked with extra time, especially because our players are so tired. But we are going... Oh, we've got five minutes of added time and it's going Southampton's way. You hate... No. Uh, well, it, well, it was disallowed for some reason. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but it wasn't given. I didn't really see why it wasn't given. But it wasn't given. So that's that saved us a little bit. Because I was about to go mental. Well, I still might go mental though. As good has been put forward. Their man's in the middle. It's been cleared. Southampton in a corner. Surely that's going to be time then. Unless we get on the counter-attack now, please. Selinkia collects. Quickly counter-attack. Is that an option? Please, Chisa. Chisa to Agni. If we can quickly counter, we can't. It's 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 penalties. Okay. Auto pick is probably the worst idea to do, actually. So let's not do that. It's a shame we've got like no good penalty takers. Like really, there's there's, there's no one good here at penalty taking. Which is the great shame. Uh, instead, Pelican's gonna go at first, because he's got the best finishing, followed by Pomeroy. And then I suppose Agni, Chisa. Um, I guess Gustavo's got to go after that and then do I even want to pick the rest of them like that do I even want to pick the rest of them I think I'm just gonna leave the other five or the, the other six after that just to the look of a draw because I can't pick them out because they're all rubbish anyway so on to penalties we go which isn't much fun what we will do though is change to the director camera is that going to do something? I don't like that. Uh, yeah, director's changed to this thing. Get out of the way then. 
And uh, great save. Starting off with a great save from Salinkia. You love to see that as Pelican now steps up to take his first penalty. Go on, lad. Absolutely bury this, which he does. Great stuff. So we're already 1-0 up in the penalty shootout, which is a great position to be in. If Stalinkia can save this one as well, I might rename the stadium after him. Oh, well, he's he's causing me, a, he's giving me a reason to rename the stadium after him. Um, I won't, obviously, because what's the point in doing that? I'm just saying it to encourage him. It's not actually going to happen. As we score our second penalty, and now if Bakayoko misses or it's saved, then we have to score and then we win. That's pretty simple as... Oh, Salinkia, that was the easiest one to save and he didn't do it for some reason. There's Agni now with a chance to put us in a commanding position in this penalty shootout. Steps up, back of the net. You love to see that. Fantastic stuff. Right then, they've got to score this Southampton, which is why it's now going to take a bloody age for them to... Why? I don't care, football manager. Just get it out of the way quickly. Right then, we're finally in position. And Hernandez steps up to take it, and it's, 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 I mean, all of that for that. It's really not worth the while and waiting for that kind of thing. And now we've got to wait again, because if we score this, we win. But we've got to wait, obviously, for the keeper and player to get in position. Just speed it up, lads. Speed it up. I mean, Chiefs has got the right idea. He, he sprinted there, which is good to see, but their keeper's sort of messing around. Right, score this and we win. He's, he has done it. I thought he'd missed that then, to be fair. But great stuff. We win the, the quarterfinals and we are in to the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. Ah, apparently in that game, Bizu and Pomeroy both picked up injuries. So Pomeroy's out for two weeks and Bizu's out for seven to ten days, which is... I mean, it's not ideal, especially because Pelican has now got fitness concerns raised. And they're the only three strikers we've got. So, I mean, Pelican, you have to sort of just go through it, basically, and just sort of get on with it, I'm afraid, lad. We'll give him a few days rest, maybe, actually. That might help a little bit out if we go to development and rest. Have two days off, lad. That might help out a little bit. I've no idea when the draw for the semi-final is. Oh, it's there. We'll stick around for the semi-final draw, but uh, it's not that exciting, really, is it, I suppose? I'm playing it down a little bit, because, actually, we do want to win this. We want to have a, we want to win this or the FA Cup. Ideally, I'd say the FA Cup, because it's a bit better than the Carabao. About Cup, isn't it? But we'll stick around for the draw because I'm not actually sure who's in it still. Don't say I never treat you. Don't say I never treat you. Two cup draws in one episode. It's unheard of. As apparently Slink is going to move to Napoli. He's not. He's not moving to Napoli. Don't don't worry about that. He's not going anywhere. But in the Carabao Cup, there's uh, us, United, City, and Barnsley who are in the Championship. If we get Barnsley, that would be beautiful. As we we get Man City instead. I mean. It was nearly there. I mean, congratulations to Manchester United for getting through to the Carabao Cup final. Bit tough between me and City. Uh, but that's that's a very tough one, actually, to be fair. Uh, when is that game being played then? Because it could tie in nicely for next episode. Uh, that's being played in a, a couple games' time. So, next episode then. It's, it's, got, it's got to be... Ah, it's two legs. So, we're going to have another one of these episodes then. Oh, we did this. Did we do this last season? Let me come back. Yeah, we did this last season, didn't we? And that that did not go well at all. It went really badly last time around. Um, but we still won the league at least last season, which was good. We'll do the same thing again this time round, though. Uh, we'll play Man City, do some like quick highlights of these two games, and then the Man City game again, just to I don't know, get us in the mood for the cup final, maybe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's episode. Uh, apologies for it being. Well, not it being, just me being a bit weird and mental. Uh, I, I, I can't explain it. Hopefully, come come Thursday, I'll be back on it. But I, I, can't, I, that's, I can't guarantee it. So I do apologise in advance for that one as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And I'll see you next time for some more Lincoln Loco action. <laughs>